I don't even remember ever going to like art galleries or anything when I was a kid, you know, like I didn't really have too much direct contact with, with art at all. I think a part of like making or the impulse to make art in the first place was exploring my identity. I didn't grow up within like a First Nation community. I, you know, my mom was, so my mom was a part of the 60s scoop as well. So she didn't grow up within her community. You know, that, that, that First Nation background, tradition, culture, whatever, wasn't so much a part of my upbringing. And I think when, it, yeah, kind of when I started making art, it was like, I was really drawn to just like investigating myself through making things. I think there's a, like, a lot of truth in humor, you know? And I think that humor can really like cut through uh, really serious and tragic realities. Like, reality is complicated, and I think that using satire can sometimes address those complications and not, not moralize an issue. I, I really like all this funny old kitschy stuff. It's like some weird interpretation of a legit beautiful culture and somebody distills it down to like a little tin drumming Indian kind of thing you know it's it's so weird to me. In 2009 I did a show up at the Yukon Art Center I'd been like thinking about this idea of identity being co-opted by you know corporate structures. Indian Brand Corporation was a bit of like maybe a conceptual project so it kind of like started as a joke in a way that became like a really meaningful container to collect thoughts and ideas. For me, a big part of making art is still just about doing stuff, you know? Still just about being active and, and contemplating things. I'm just using my time to develop a narrative that I'm interested in. This is like the first like little log cigarette that I made. I was just kind of like doing some experiments with uh, like a lot of found material and so I, I just focused on making this like installation and yeah this is the car tent yeah studio space in the Yukon is like impossible to find if I was living somewhere else there would be a different psychological space that I would be concerned by. So instead of having so many trees, I'd probably have more buildings or something like that. Um, but I don't know because I, I just live here. So I'm, I feel like when you're immersed in a space, you can't help but reflect on that space. I think we're only gonna get one go here. <laughs> <laughs>